Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, we bring you guys a variety of tech-related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at creating a simple USG firewall rule. All right, guys, before we get to today's topic, I just wanna say thank you to those of you who supported me in my No Shave November campaign. As you can see, the full beard is gone. We're in the month of December. However, I made a donation in the amount of $250 to noshavenovember.org. 78 of those dollars came from my Amazon affiliate links. So thank you guys for using those links in the month of November. It's not a lot of money, but every little bit helps, right? So that being said, let's get on to the topic in the video. Recently, I did a video on how to create um, another network on a LAN 2 port of a USG. We talked about how when you do that, LAN 1 and LAN 2 automatically talk to each other um, right out of the box. However, I had a viewer make a comment on that video asking, well, what if we didn't want the networks to talk to each other? What if we wanted to separate the networks one from the other? So that's what today's video is going to be about. Let's take a look at the diagram on the screen. Okay, so we're working with this configuration for this video. We have a USG, LAN 1 is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. LAN 2 is 10.0.0.0 slash 24. Hanging off of LAN 1, we have a unified switch with three devices. My computer is at 1.7. I have a unified camera. The address is 1.18. And my unified controller, which is a cloud key, at 1.2. Hanging off the LAN 2 network is just a laptop and the IP address is 0 0.8. So what we're going to do in this video today is prevent the laptop on LAN 2 from accessing any of the devices on LAN 1. Let's get started with the process. All right, so I'm signed into my lab controller and you guys are not going to believe how incredibly simple it is to prevent LAN 2 from accessing LAN 1 in the Unify ecosystem. I'm looking at the networks tab, and here you can see both LAN 1 and LAN 2, LAN 1 on the 192 network, LAN 2 on the 10 network. So the first thing we need to do is come over and select routing and firewall, and then click on firewall. Here we're presented with all of the default and predefined rules and interfaces. To accomplish our task for today, we are going to add a rule in the LAN in area. So we're going to come here and we're looking at the predefined LAN in rules. Let's click on create new rule. And we're presented with this page here. Let's give it a name. You can call it anything that makes it easy for you to recognize. I'm going to call it block LAN 2. I could also call it protect LAN 1. It all depends what you're trying to achieve. But just the key is make sure it's easy for you to identify. So we'll call it block LAN 2. We're going to enable it, which is already on. We want this rule to be applied before the predefined rules, because remember, the rules um, go in order. We want the action to be to drop anything coming from LAN 2 going over to LAN 1. So we'll leave that at drop. All the protocols are fine. Let's come down to the source area, and we're going to select network. And we're going to come from the drop down area here, and we're going to pick the source as LAN 2. And then when we come into the destination area, we're again going to click on network and we want the destination to be LAN, which in this case is LAN 1. Once we've set all these parameters, simply click on save. And if we look here, we have the block LAN 2. The action is to drop the network source. The source network is LAN 2 and the destination is LAN. So if we come over to the devices tab, we can see that the USG is now provisioning. And once the provisioning is done, that rule should be in effect and we'll be able to test it out. All right, guys. So the USG is done provisioning and I have my Windows laptop up on the screen. And the first thing I want to do, I have a command prompt open. I just want to do an IP config to show you guys that we are on the 10 network. And here you go, we got 10.0.0.8 for an IP address. So the next thing I want to do is 
if we pull up that diagram from earlier, you'll see the computer is on 192.168.1.7, the video camera is on 1.18, and the cloud key is on 1.2. So we'll try pinging a couple of those devices. So let's go, let's try pinging 192, let's try the cloud key, .168.1.2. And here you can see we're getting request timed out. Once this times out, once the timeout request complete, we'll ping one more. We'll try the video camera. Let's ping that at dot 18. And again, guys, you're seeing we're getting request timeout. So what I'm going to do now is when this is completed, I'm going to, going to ping the USG itself, and you'll see that we will be able to um, reach the USG via ping. So let's do 1.1. And instead of timing out like the devices on LAN 1, we're getting a response, a successful ping from the USG. Now, we can block that as well if you don't want the users on LAN 2 to even reach the USG. What we have to do is simply add a uh, LAN local rule to the LAN local interface. In fact, let's do that. Let's go back into the lab controller. Let's go down to our settings and we'll come over to routing and firewall again. And again, we're gonna click on the firewall tab. This time, instead of using LAN in, we're gonna come over to LAN local. And we're going to create a new rule and very similar to the last process when we created the land in rule let's give it a name so we'll call it block uh, ping for now that's simple enough we want it to be on as far as enabled we want it to be um, well there are no other rules but we would put it uh, before predefined rules the action is to drop and then here on the protocol we're going to select icmp when we come down to the source area again as before, it'll be click on network and select LAN 2. And then the destination will be click on network and then select LAN 1. Again, um, LAN, LAN 1 in this case, and then click on the save button. And there you can see now we have the LAN local rule that says block ping. The action is to drop ICM from the source LAN 2 to the destination uh, LAN. So we should see the USG provisioning. And there it is. And again, once the USG is done provisioning, we should be able to go back over to the PC and attempt to uh, ping the USG and we should uh, get a request timed out. So let's just let the USG provision and uh, we'll give it a shot. All right, guys, we're back and the USG is done provisioning. So let's bring up the uh, command prompt again and let's do a ping this time of the router and let's see what happens and there you go guys with that land local rule added now you can see we're getting request timed out and we will still have internet access and i'll show you that by pinging google one more time let's do that let's ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. And there you go, guys. We're getting a reply from the Google DNS server. So that about wraps it up for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And continue to use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.